Hello everybody, this is Doug from Darkwater North. We're going to take a quick look at the Evolution Grip S17 by no other than the Victronics Swiss Army Knife Making Company. They are the original makers and this was purchased at, as you could see there, CTC. And uh, we're going to open up right now. Let's see what we got here. It says peel it off, but I couldn't really peel that off, so we'll just cut this little label here. There we go. Hmm. Nice. Nice and sparkly now. So the Evolution Grip S17. It has 15 different uh, little tools in here and you can see that it has like uh, some inlaid stickers for grip and they're uh, they're a little uh, you know textured so it's a little more grippy which is nice you know the iconic uh, Victronics cross and there's 15 different tools. We'll go through them right now. We've got a toothpick right here. It's the first time I've opened all this. The tweezers right here. It has a little key ring on it, which is nice. The large blade, which is right here. It's got kind of a belly to it, eh? So that's nice, plus you can really get that. And you can see the markings on it. What's a Victronic Swiss made? So that's nice. And as you can see, this locks, so that's nice. This is one of the big features on the Enviro Grip or the Evolution Grip, is that it uh, locks in place. And you just gotta push this little tab down here to unlock the blade. There's also a nail file like here and a little nail cleaning device I suppose basically the same thing it's all in one. Nail cleaner there you have it uh, the corkscrew and you can see in there there's no place for a safety pin they could have put that in there, I guess, but uh, nothing. Corkscrew bottle opener right here. And your large flathead screwdriver. And a wire stripper down here. So that's handy. And then right here next to it is the small flathead screwdriver with a can opener on it. And that comes in super handy, of course. Now the screwdriver, I've got a number of things in here. Let's see what we can get out here. Not the easiest to get out as you can see, but I might be doing it wrong. Oh, it has a saw, that's right. It's very sharp. So that's good. Serrated edge scissors. Here they are. Spring loaded, so that's nice. And the serrations, uh, I think you'll be able to focus in on that. See there, there we go. You can see the serrations on that little blade. Those little blades. So that's handy. And the reamer and the punch. That is extremely hard to get open, that one. Oh, I got it. The awl. And you can lay some thread through there if you want. And this is sharp, of course. Now the screwdrivers in here, well we got them on that, so that's that's everything right there. Now the overall length of the uh, 
little knife here is 85 milliliter, millimeters from uh, one end to the other, which corresponds as 3.34 inches. Its uh, height is 23 millimeters, which is uh, 0 0.9 inches. And then the width is uh, 27 millimeters. And the weight is 92 grams. Well, the width, that would be uh, 1.06 inches. And then the, the grams, the weight, 3.24 ounces. Yeah, it's not that heavy at all. It's rather compact. And I really like the uh, locking mechanism for the blade. That's something. And it mentions Delamont in there, so that's the type of steel it is. It's a high carbon stainless steel, I believe. Martinistic. Now, uh, the uh, red uh, scales are made out of uh, polyamide. It does have a lockable blade. Uh, you can open this one-handed. It's pretty tricky to do something like that. And the color is red with these black little grippy inlays, as you can see. And the blade, of course, comes sharp right out of the box. I never, you saw it come out of the box here. Bit of a, not bad. Not bad. So that's good, and then can't. So that's a real nice little knife. Uh, I think you wouldn't be wasting your money if you go to some Canadian tires anyway. Right now, I got it for clearance and for under fifty bucks Canadian, and it it goes on the website for eighty eight a eighty eight Canadian uh, plus tax. So I got it taxi in uh, under. $50. So it was like 49 and change. It was a real deal. So there you have it. Thanks for your time. Please like with the thumbs up there and then uh, hit the subscribe button right there. Thanks for your time. And this is Doug from Darkwater North saying uh, you wouldn't be wasting your money buying a Victronics Evolution S17. Not at all. Great little buy. Thanks for for watching and have a great day. Okay, as you can see on the little tab right here, right here, lock. So when the big blade comes out, it's not gonna close accidentally or anything like that. You push this down, and then it'll go, and then there's like a half stop there, which is nice, and it's in. I'm always forgetting it because uh, <laughs> I'm not used to it. I've forgotten a few times already, just in a little while since I got it. Uh, yeah, it's got this little tab here to unlock the knife. Nice feature, lock on the blade. Viral grip lock. Like that. Now these little tweezers, which are held in the knife, right in the handle here. As you can see, they just slide right in there. They slide out, the gray little tab. I found them, I got a metal sliver in my finger and it was really tiny and I could not pull it out with my fingernails, which were a little longer at the time. I couldn't get them out, couldn't get it out. And then, but these little things worked really good and I pulled it out. Now it was on another Swiss Army knife I have that I used to, but um, hey, these are exactly the same and they work great for things of that nature. Another small uh, slivers that you might pick up, uh, you know, in the woods with, you know, raspberry bushes or other fine thorns that could, you know, really uh, work their way in there, but you can't get them out with your fingers. 
So those tiny little things are handy for that. That's the small flathead screwdriver. The large flathead screwdriver is uh, just as good on these small screws. So nothing out of place there. This is the uh, little scissors that come with it. And you can see they're spring loaded and the uh, the little scissor blades are serrated. I don't know if you can see it there, but they are. And so, uh, let me start that open. Okay, this is the uh, scissors. You can see they're spring loaded. The Evolution Grip. S17. The little blades here are uh, serrated too. I don't know if the camera will focus in on that. There you go. See right there? And uh, yeah, so we're going to test it out. Just give you a little look at what they can do. Okay, first off, no problem one piece of paper. Fold that in half. Seems to be no problem with two. Now we'll open that up. So this is like a, no problem. I was holding them upside down there earlier. Sorry about that. They work just right like this here with the uh, little scissor coming up like this. And then I fold this. This is like. A, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper folded up. Same bit. And it really doesn't have a problem doing that. It's not the neatest edge, but there you go. Works great. Like new. Okay, the Evolution Grip S17. It's got this awl. It's a little smaller than the other awls I've seen on other Swiss Army knives, but this overall knife is a little bit smaller than that. So that makes sense. Got some leather here. It's nice and sharp. Can easily go through there. And of course, uh, come out the other side, eh? And then because of the sharp edge on it, just twist it. And it's going to make a large hole. For you to thread to, or, uh, and you can thread this like a needle, punch it right through, and uh, sew leather together. There you go. See? Another handy little device to carry in your pocket. For emergencies, of course. Now these uh, grippy little pads, as I've been using the knife, uh, testing it and such, they're really nice. I really like them. The grip is good. You know, it adds a little, uh, you know, that texture, a little solid, a little more solid grip to it. You know, no matter what uh, tool you're using, you can just get a little more bite on the handle, which is always better, you know. So remember that when you go to purchase one of these as well. Now the toothpick is uh, something I find uh, quite uh, dependable and always to have with you is nice because after you eat any kind of uh, meal, there's always something stuck in my teeth anyway and I want to clean it out as fast as possible because it's extremely annoying. So to have this there in your pocket at all times is handy. 
just, uh, you know, there you go, it's handy. But you can apparently change these out, uh, these little tools out for other tools. So, you know, check that out on the uh, Swiss Army Victronics uh, uh, Victorinox uh, website. And they'll show you what you can interchange in these places. And I think you can even put like a little screwdriver inside this corkscrew. So that's handy. So check it out for the accessories. That's another reason to buy a Swiss Army knife. There you have it. Now the saw when you're out in the woods comes in handy for many little branches. And it saws really nice. to have a little more leverage but it takes some real bites out of this as you can see it cuts both ways it's not just a pull but you can pull it This is got a blade on here too. Snap that up and then just oh, <laughs> all the way. Anyway, it does work really handy. And if you had a green little branch, it would uh, cut through it no problem. Now a nail file may seem like uh, not the, you know, the most outdoory or woodsy kind of thing to have on your knife, but I don't know about you, but I find it extremely annoying when your thumbnail or one of your fingernails gets a little nick in it and man, it catches on every piece of material around. So to have this just to file it off and to, uh, you know, make sure that doesn't happen. And I have one right here where my nails have been, I don't know, somewhat brittle lately. So now I just use this thing here. Anybody could use it, right? Just to smooth that out so it does not catch it on everything possible. So that in itself is extremely handy right there. And then who hates having dirty fingernails? You can clean this off, you know, clean any of your fingernails with that. So that's good too. Another handy use for these uh, little implements and tools on your Swiss Army knife.